Hello, and welcome to another edition of the abugames.com feature match. I'm Derek Peterson. And I'm Ethan Foley. With abugames.com. This was our FM finals from d- uh, d- November 30th. We have Chris on the left. He's playing a, a band deck against Shannon on the right, who's playing Slesnia Aggro. Pretty exciting stuff. Both lists have our model worms in it, so we'll probably see some huge donks come down. <laughs> Looking at the opening hands here, it looks like uh, Chris had uh, Sun Petal Grove, Temple Garden, Hollowed Fountain, uh, Silver Blade Paladin, Clone, and Loxton Smiter, while uh, Shanna was able to see she had Wolf Ear, Silverheart, Thrag Tusk, uh, Temple Garden, Sun Petal Grove, Sublime Archangel, and two cards I was not able to pick out. Looks like some Temple Garden pass action. Yeah, and then hollowed, hollowed fountain pass. So, both players riveting action. <laughs> riveting action so far. I would say the action is riveting. <laughs> Shot off the sun petal grove there. Four passes. There's in the an back. armada worm in her hand. It's totes cray. Far seek. Yep. Do you see a far seek from Chris here? <clears throat> no. Neither player is going to play anything until like turn five. Uh, both, both on the huge dudes deck. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Chris's deck, uh, it's banned. I don't want to call it control. I don't want to call it mid range. It's got uh, some really high end stuff. It's got like Angel Serenity, uh, Thrag Test, that kind of thing. But also runs stuff like Clone and Cloud Shift for just. It's like, like Shannon's got a smite. Shenanigans. Just to bonk people on the head with a hammer. Yep. We do you see the four four smiter coming out. And Chris follows suit with a smiter of his own. Dude, I wonder if those elephants are going to bonk each other on the head. Just smash each other with hammers? Yeah. You can see that. You see uh, Avacyn's Pilgrim for Shannon. No uh, fourth land for her. She probably that the Getting out uh, Sublime Archangel would have been really good. She doesn't want to trade. No, not at this point. She wants to wait and pair. Yeah. Like, he's going to pair. Yeah, he's going to pair here, I think. Uh, just looking over where he has available. He's got five land. Yeah, he's going to pair up the Smiter with the Silver Blade. Going to crack in for eight. And Shannon just snap takes it. Goes to 12. Her Lockstone Smiter will also be eight. Uh, this is not shaping up too well for Shannon. She's uh, Stuck on not land. hitting the land drops, there's so she can't cast our model worm. And there's the Sublime Archangel. <laughs> Would have been a lot better if she was able to get that last turn. Um... Yeah. Normally with the Archangel at this point with the paired Smiter, she's not gonna. I don't think she's gonna even want to swing in here. Yeah, she's gonna pass. Eat another eight. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a. She's winning the race here. Yeah, I feel like this is the the. Oh, uh, is this guy gonna clone the Archangel? This we is, could see this that. This is a sick play. If we do see that, it'll be. So clone we should, the oh, Archangel. Clones the Archangel. <laughs> now I want to swing for fourteen. Can I? Boom. Yep, so just a snap jump there from Shannon with the smiter. Uh, Chris's smiter was swinging in for... So lethal. It's, well, yeah, lethal. Yes, I would. <laughs> hey, that Thragtus can block a few turns. Yeah, Thragtus will save some life. So what do you see here? Thragtus sends Shannon back up to 17. And then uh, if she wants to swing, she can trade with a clone. Might stop the bleeding. Um, if not, then she swings and gets through for seven. Seems pretty profitable for her to attack here. Just ships the turn back. Uh, I know that. Well, if she does swing there, because Chris has a second paladin in hand, silver blade paladin. So he could just pair with the uh, the archangel and then he kill her. Yeah, it looks like he's playing another clone, copying <coughs> archangel. Double archangel. Every creature has two instances of. The exalted. So no. Shannon just chump blocks here. <laughs> with that much exalted, why don't you just swing with this stupid flying creature? Um. Yeah, I, I probably would have swung. Yeah, with the Thrag Tusk, you get double blocks there as opposed to yeah. Shannon having an Archangel. That's her only way of blocking flying. But I mean, you don't care about the first half of the Thrag Tusk, anyways. And, uh, yeah, I agree with that. And Six mana. Armada Worm coming into play. With its worm token. Unfortunately, it's not flying, so at this point, yeah, I, I agree that swinging with. Uh, Chris swinging with a clone Archangel would be the better play. He needs to put a Rancor on the Loxodon Smiter. It looks like he's paying two for whatever reason. Does he have the Angel? Yep. Boom. Boom! So I would remove both tokens no, and probably 
So, so far he's targeting... I'd take both tokens in the Sublime Archangel, and then I'd crash in the air for a million, yeah. and then uh, Shannon would lose. That's what I would do. <laughs> I would win the game. I think he's going to win anyway, so... Uh, at this point, position with Shannon's lack of real removal in her deck, I feel like... There he goes. He's swinging with the flyer. This is good. So he's getting uh, plus... Four, 10. six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen damage. Yeah, so he's swinging it for fourteen here. Drip Shannon to three. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's terminus. A, and I talked to Chris. Terminus. <laughs> talked to Chris and like, miracle terminus. The reason why he's main, he's main decking stuff like clone is for situations like this where if opponent gets out a uh, a really high utility creature like an archangel and then he's probably like, well, it's good to copy my dudes, but it's also good to copy theirs. Yes. Yeah. The solid strategy. The clone. He has Thrag Tusk in his deck, doesn't he? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, he runs three Thrag Tusk main. He's super good with Thrag Tusk. Yeah. A lot of these, uh, these Return to Ravnica standard games just are games of who has more Thrag Tusk. Pairs Silverblade with the Angel of, Rest uh, Angel of Serenity. No, totally just going irrelevant. In the, just going in for the blowouts here. Well, I mean, it's over. Yeah. Shannon's out was that he doesn't attack. Yeah. Shannon's like, okay, you had me. Yep, this so was not fun. Crazy board. Chris is able to take game one. We'll see if Shannon, Shannon can bounce back for game two or if Chris is going to take it in two. We'll be right back. 